Today it's December. I can't believe it's December already, but I wanted to talk about something that always um, confuses a lot of new carnivorous plant people, and it has to do with the butterworts or the pings. Every single year we get a lot of emails from our new ping pals and they're panicking about what's happening to their pings. So I'm just going to show this phenomenon which is um, butterworts go, it's not dormant. So people want to call it a dormancy, and it isn't actually a dormancy because they will keep growing and flowering during this phase. Like Venus flytraps and American pitcher plants, they stop growing altogether in the winter, and so that is dormancy. This is a dry, succulent um, phase. So most of these butterworts that we have in front of us are native to Mexico, and in Mexico they have um, warm, wet summers, followed by mild, dry winters. So if you've ever grown any cacti from Mexico, you know, there's that old rule of stop watering them from uh, Halloween to Valentine's Day. So these guys, as delicate as they look, they grow right next to cactus and agave, resurrection plants and other succulents in Mexico. And so it stops, it stops uh, raining almost altogether, and they have to do something to survive. And that is the winter succulent phase. So I have an example of a succulent rosette right here in my little paw. And you can see it doesn't have the wide sticky leaves anymore. This is actually um, Pinguicula lawiana, so you can see right next to it. Let me just set this right there. Burn. So you can see this is one that's growing and it's catching insects. So it has these wide sticky leaves for catching bugs and there's lots of water around. And then when it dries out, it can make this little jelly bean mandala in the sand. These leaves aren't sticky. They really won't catch any bugs, but it does store some water and allows them to survive. And they can get really, really dry. And you do want to dry them out a little bit. You can kind of follow their lead. So there's some species like Gypsicola, Crassifolia, Colamensis. They'll make Heterophylla. They'll make very tight succulent rosettes. They look like little bulbs almost. Those want to be very dry. You can let the soil get surprisingly dry. It'll suck up around the sides a little bit. You just want to sprinkle them maybe like once a week. You know, they can get too dry and die. So there's a little bit of a balance there, but you don't want them sitting in water the entire time. Um, some of them, like uh, Gigantea marginata. A marginata grows next to wet waterfalls in Mexico, and so they never experience that um, dry period. So a marginata crosses, um, Gigantea crosses, a lot of those may not make a succulent rosette at all, and they don't usually need to. Like some of them, like Laoyana, are very, if they want to, if they dry out, because these are the same time of year, and you can see these are still growing, but this one's already made its succulent rosette. So probably that one got a little bit drier and it made the call to do that. And so if you're growing that at home, you would let that get a little bit drier, but these other ones can stay wet and they don't need that. These ones in particular, like you can grow Laoyana constantly moist under lights in a terrarium and it probably will never make a succulent rosette and it doesn't need to. There'll be no, uh, you know, after a couple of years, cumulative effect where it just dies on you. Um, but yeah, so don't panic. They'll just become these, they just become a little bit different. And then in the spring, usually around, I don't know, February or March here, it might be a little bit later if you're somewhere a little bit colder, they'll um, start to grow their wide sticky leaves again. And then you can just go ahead and put the whole pot back into sitting in water like a regular carnivorous plant. And they can stay that way till they make their little succulent rosette again. Then you're gonna take them out of the water and slowly dry them out. Try to make these um, transitions like take a couple weeks to a month. You don't want them to dry out in an hour. You want it to kind of be a slow transition because that's how it would be in nature. Um, I think that's about all there is about the succulent rosettes. Um, so yeah, basically they do this and then they catch the bugs and they go back to that again. But I like them both ways.